A, uh, I am over the moon tonight uh, because uh, my Call of Duty uh, college friend crew, uh, we dominated tonight in, uh, in Call of Duty. We got two wins in a row in, uh, in squads. Uh, so that's, uh, that's Dan, Jimmy, Pete's and me. Uh, we've been working so hard to, uh, to get to this point, uh, and, uh, just so proud of us. Um, yeah, we were just playing for like two, two and a half hours tonight and we killed it. I'm just so happy. Uh, so just have to put that out there. Um, yeah, I'm like so pumped. I am so pumped. Um, man. Okay. So I have like a, I haven't done a reflection video in a little bit and I wanted to, um, let's see, talk about a few things here. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, some of these are a little downer, uh, and I'm not feeling too down right now. Uh, but I wrote some things earlier on <clears throat> in the week where I was like, hmm, <clears throat> about the channel. Uh, some of them, uh, within some of the videos and some of the interviews, I, I've been getting a sense that, well, I know that there was one person that I talked to earlier, uh, this week. Uh, who was just blatantly lying to me because I did some research as to <clears throat> things that they were saying and uh, about themselves. And they were lying to me about like a YouTube channel or something. Um, and uh, it made me feel bad, you know, um, because I, I, I don't know, I really tried to remain open to, for people to, um, you know, be able to, to, you know, tell me how they actually feel. Of course, I'm just like this guy on Omegle <clears throat> right on the internet who they don't know for the first time. And they're like, uh, who is this guy? Why is he asking me these questions? Um, and I think for situations like that, I just try to remind myself, you know, that these people are going through things in their life where um, they feel like they need to lie to um, be able to um, feel good about themselves or for other people to, to, to make a first impression on people. Um, and, um, if you're watching this, you don't need to lie. You, like something that, something that really, um, I'm saying um a lot tonight. Uh, I think to me, the thing that impresses me most about a person is if they are just really honest about how they're feeling, like about their emotions and also about where they are in life, right? If someone can just kind of say, hey, this is the kind of barrier that's blocking my way in life and I just keep bashing my head against it and I just can't feel, don't feel like I can, and that can actually overcome it, you know, for me, those are the people who I like, I look up to um, and are good role models in my eyes. Um, uh, people who are honest with themselves. I think that if you lie to others, you're also lying to yourself um, and that's just not healthy. Uh, and I, I, I enjoy hanging out and talking to you more if, if, you know, I sense that you're being honest and if I know you're being honest and authentic with me, so. Just want to put that out there. Being vulnerable, talking about age. <clears throat> talking about age. Oh, oh yeah. Well, mm, talking about age. I don't even really know what I meant by that. Um, I think I've been talking about like 30, being 30 now um, and how that's kind of affected me. And You know, it's another... I, I go through I go through phases where I'm like oh I'm 30 oh my gosh but then I go through phases like wow I'm only 30 that's pretty good uh, I don't know I feel like I've um, gone through a lot of experiences and I'm just really uh, thankful for where I am uh, for the lessons that I've learned for the experiences that I've had uh, for all the dumb things that I've done you know. Um, other things for the channel. Oh, yeah. So late. Oh, this is one thing that's been annoying me is I, I have been having like technical difficulties lately. I am. I think this is one thing that I actually 
I'm really butting my head uh, talking about being vulnerable and the barriers that we have of ourselves. Like my barrier these days is beating myself up about not getting technology, like um, not understanding how to use technology or the ins and outs of like a camera, right? Like I am in the process of getting a camera right now to go out and, you know, talk to people in the world, uh, not just on Omegle. And I got this camera and it didn't have a microphone port. And now I have to return it. And I was just, I felt so dumb that I got a camera that didn't have a microphone, external mic jack. And I was like, any novice mistake. And I just beat myself over the head like, Kenny, you're so dumb. You're so, why? You're so dumb. That's like the first thing that you should check. And um, I talked to a friend, or actually, I think I talked to someone on here, a friend, yeah, a new friend, who was, who was saying, oh, no, 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 no. Or maybe, I forget. And they were like, you know, Kenny, this is like your first time doing anything with film, right? With cameras. So give yourself a break. And it's true. I mean, this is the learning curve. This is the learning curve. This is the kind of stuff that holds has held me back in the past and holds other people back is like you come up to this this barrier that you've always kind of confronted like okay like you're a luddite right i think that's the word a luddite is someone who doesn't um get technology very well is technologically inept um and so like in my mind i i'm i'm like that i think about myself that way but it's not true it's just i need to process actually like do the thing, learn it, take my time with it, breathe with it, don't beat myself up over it, and just do it, you know? And um, so right now, I'm learning to love myself in a deeper way through understanding technology and taking my time with it and reading through things and just getting things right. Um, yeah, it's with like the computer too, with a Xbox. Um, yeah, I, you know, I'm... I'm learning. Afraid to look. Oh, oh, this is something. Um, so I, I was thinking, like, I've, I've told some of my friends recently, my roommate and some other friends um, who I'm very close to here at the conservatory in Sarasota about this channel. Uh, and I was very hesitant to, very nervous. And I was thinking, like, I really don't want to look back at my videos because uh, I think... I just can't stand to see myself uh, talking to people because I think like I look back and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like I could have asked that question better or I could have, I was so pushy there or I should have just hung back and listened better, listen more. Um, oh, like my voice sounds so weird there, like blah, blah, blah. And uh, so I just want to put that out there, how, how uh, painful it is for me to watch my videos. But I think it, it's helpful for me to watch my videos because I think that I can learn how to become a better listener from it. So that's another barrier that's in my way is me reviewing my conversations and figuring out how to be a better listener and how to be a better question asker. Um, and uh, I think that's something that I want to do. Uh, this is kind of my first time saying it out loud. Uh, so I, I think I'm going to put that on my to-do list is to like look at two or three interviews that I really liked. And then also two or three interviews where I was like, ah, you know, I mean, if you look back through my earlier interviews, I started the interviews off saying, hello, uh, this is our next stranger. Um, and now I just kind of just go into the interviews, just talking to the people. And I like that more. The thing that I'm not really getting as much from the recent conversations are questions about politics, questions about the culture in which people live in. Um, and I want to get back to that a little bit, but I, I don't want to like whack people with it right off the bat. I want to transition it into like the mid conversation, like before my questions, but after like I get to know them a little bit as a human being. Um, so I want to add that in. Um, if, if anyone has any thoughts or questions of, 
of how I could improve, let me know, please like put it in the comments. If you would like, like write a comment out, um, asking some, some questions maybe you'd like me to ask or some things that you'd like me to incorporate. Also, if there's some kind of content that you would like to see me do, um, I, I would really appreciate uh, your thoughts. Um, and thank you for watching, of course, you know, this has just been so great for me. I just really love this channel. I really love my friends. I love my cod. I, I, I love my college friends, my guy friends. I love, you know, I like I, I had a rough time here at the conservatory early on, but I'm like really starting to gel with these people here now. And, and, um, and I'm really enjoying talking to, to people on here on the channel. And I just am so lucky. I'm just so thankful and lucky and grateful for my life. Um, and, and, you know, for everyone, everyone that I'm coming in, in contact with, I'm just like, I'm just so grateful. Um, and another thing too, that I want to comment on is that, uh, is that like the last few, uh, last like two weeks or something, like I've only talked to men on here. And I'm so just like ready and rearing to go to just get out to the outside world and like talk to homeless people, like listen to homeless people, like talk to strangers about asking them questions. I came up with a whole list of questions to just ask strangers on the street, you know? Um, and, uh, you know, I'm going to be moving up to Tallahassee soon. So like, I'm really excited to go out there and to, to talk to people up there kind of a younger crowd, but younger college crowd, you know, very different from Omegle, uh, the Omegle culture, I think. Um, I'm just, you know, I, I started doing interviews with my aunts and uncles now. I'm really fascinated in kind of compiling a family, family interview like catalog for when I'm older and for my kids to see my relationship and hear the stories of my aunts and uncles. And um, I just, there's just so many, and I'm wondering actually, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm an actor and, and I, I'm interested in like creating short films and, and writing stuff. And um, I'm, I'm interested in kind of putting that content on here as well. Uh, you know, it's, it's uh, just playing around with different kinds of content. I think my meat and potatoes though, is to talk to people is, um, yeah, is to connect with, is to meet different people, hear different perspectives. Like for me, I want that to be a constant, consistent thing on here. Like that's, that's the reason to come. All these other things are kind of um, compliments to that, that meal, you know. Uh, the others would kind of be side dishes. So anyway, these are just all kind of like ruminations that I've had. And uh, I'm really excited to kind of get a more diverse group of of, of people on this channel. And I, I, I'm excited, you know, if, if you're a, a friend that I have from the conservatory watching, like I really, I'm, I'm, I'm figuring out when to interview you guys. Cause I think it would be great. I mean, you know, you guys are so smart and great and, and uh, emotionally vulnerable and raw. Like I can't, I can't wait to, I can't wait to include you in whatever capacity you'd like on here, you know, if you'd like. So, um, okay. Yeah. That is me. Uh, I kind of just, I'm like <laughs> in a really good mood. And uh, yeah, life is pretty good. Life is not bad. I have not written in my journal today. I usually wake up first thing and write. Today I did not do that. I'm going to do it now because um, I had a, a decent day today. So it's been a pretty freaking great day. And uh, all right, guys, thank you so much. Um, okay, uh, you know, before I go, I, I, I would like to just breathe with you guys. You know, I think that I would actually, I would not mind if that's kind of like a staple of this, these reflections is just taking a moment to breathe and to be here. Let's breathe together. Oh, 
Great. Just circle your head a little bit. Just loosen up. Just allow your body to relax. Just focus on your breath. And one more. Just relax your facial muscles. Get rid of that mask and just be you. Thank you everyone and I will catch you all soon.